Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be budgeting my October budget for my household budget. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Janelle. I am a wife and a mother of one, and we are a family of three. I do a budgeting uh, videos along with meal prepping, grocery hauls, and work week lunches, and lifestyle videos. So if that is something that you're interested in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new, welcome back. Thanks for joining joining me. So this is going to be my dashboard and it houses both my household and personal bills on here, but we're actually going to get down to what the actual amount is or the amounts for my household bills. I will have my playlist down below. So I'll have my budgeting playlist my um, work week lunches and grocery hauls and also a home series where I've started decluttering my home. So if you want, you guys can go and watch those and catch up on my videos. So this is going to be a worksheet from The Budget Mom. It's one of her free resources. I actually like this setup some because it allows me whenever I'm closing out my budget for the month to kind of see in what categories I am overspending or doing well on. And so it's just set up like this and I like it for right now. So this is going to be for October. Y'all, the months are going by so quickly. We're almost in 2023 and baby girl is almost one years old. Where is the time going? So for income source one, which is going to be my income, we are budgeting 500. For income source two, which is my husband, we are budgeting 1800. And then for rollover, we are budgeting 914, which gives us a total of 4214 to work with for the month of October. Now, I do just want to say that me and my husband do not share a account and all of our money just goes to everything. We have a separate account and we just put money in there and that takes care of our household budgets. Right now, both me and my husband are paying off debt and kind of doing sort of like our own thing when it comes to like personal finance and the things that he needs to accomplish from what I need to accomplish. And also my husband is a spender, y'all. So um, that's just what works for us in our household and we get things done. So that is where we are with that. Now we're going to start off with our fixed expenses. So the first expense is going to be our mortgage. And currently our mortgage is budgeted at $1495.92. And that includes our taxes, our, um, our mortgage, our interest, and our homeowner's insurance as well too. Next is going to be our electric. And I am budgeting $200.00. This should be like the last month that I have to budget 200 because it is starting to cool down here in Texas. And so the bills going forward should be a lot cheaper. We also have gas in our house, so we really only use electric um, really during the summertime because it's like over 110 degrees outside. <laughs> um, and then gas is a lot more during the wintertime if it's cooler. And then we also use gas for our stove and also our tankless water heater for hot water. Um, so gas, I am budgeting $35. For ADT, which is our security system, I am budgeting $49.78. This is just like a standard rate, so it should not be changing. Um, next is gonna be YouTube TV. And that is going to be budgeted at $81.87. This is a subscription. This is currently what it is. Um, we haven't received anything stating that they would be upping their prices or anything like that. So this should, of course, be the same. Next is going to be our internet. And we are budgeting $84.08. Same thing. This is like a locked-in price for us. And then lastly, we have our utilities, and that includes our water, sewage, exorbitant tax fees, and our trash, um, and that is budgeted at $200. And that total is going to bring us to $2,141.65 um, is what we're looking at for this month. 
Next, we're going to go to our variable expenses. And the only variable expense that we have is our sinking funds. And I'm going to be budgeting $200 because that's what I budget for our categories. I wish I can tell you them. I think I have them written down someplace maybe. But our categories that we currently have for our sinking funds is going to be baby girl, fun, health, holiday, household, HOA, house maintenance, moving, and pets. And then at the beginning of the year, we'll start saving for um, our like one month, truly one month ahead um, so that we can eventually get to 12 months of like an emergency fund. We already have a minute, mini emergency fund in our savings account, but then we also have an ally account and we also want to save that second emergency fund there since it's definitely not something we'll be touching. So that total is $200. For our debt for our household, we just have our Discover card that me and my husband share and that is budgeted at $100. We are um, paying this card back off after earlier on in the year. I paid it off, but I'm not going to lie, you guys. I'm just taking my time with this debt situation. I know that the feds keep raising the rate and all that kind of stuff, but if I had known that formula was going to be this expensive, this hard to find, um, maybe we could have just prepared for it a little bit better, but really a good portion of this or pretty much all of this is pretty much just like things for baby girl between us buying clothes, her love every kit and all of the formula that we've been buying. It's just really been going on this card. So as much as I do want to pay it off, like I'm not upset at the balance a little bit because it's just like, I'm not going to let my baby starve because I don't have the money this week to pay for it or to purchase it. So that's where we are with that. So Discover is getting $100. And then for my actual savings, we have our emergency fund and I am doing $40.35. The reason for the change is because I like to zero out the entire um, account at the end of the month. This would be the remaining change that would be left. So our total income is 42, uh, 42, 14. Our total expenses is going to be 24, 82. And this leaves us with a remainder of 17, 32, which is technically um, what I would put here for rollover to give ourselves a zero balance. Um, but this is just our rollover money because we are trying to get a month ahead in our checking account. Um, we're not fully a month ahead, but at least with the money that is rolling over, um, I will have uh, money to cover like the mortgage and the gas bill that normally come out right at the beginning of the month. So this is our October paycheck for our household budget. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if there's anything that you guys are doing. If you celebrate Halloween, um, if you guys are doing anything for the holidays and how your October budget is going, if you already set it up and I'll see you guys in the next one.